here. Thank you so much for joining me. In today's video, I have my pin our way to 5k update for August and September. This is an empties challenge that I've joined with a great group of people. All will be linked in the description box down below. If I have forgotten you, please let me know. Actually, there is a sign up sheet. Yeah, because I was like, this is a lot of people. <laughs> so the whole goal is to use up $5,000 worth of product in 2022. And, and today we're going to go over August and September because I didn't do an empties video at the end of August and the 1st of September. If you missed it, I posted a get ready with me about it, update about it, etc. You can check those out. So I have, um, and I have more and more make, much makeup, blah, 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 blah. So I'm going to go ahead and do them together. I'm going to walk you through what I finished for the two months. We're going to talk about um, how much I finish in each project, etc. And then you're going to see a video in, in the next couple of days that will go over quarter three numbers and year to date numbers and let you know how far away from goal I actually am. So, yeah, I normally start with declutters, then we move on to empties. And yeah, so let's start with declutters. The first is this. This is probably the most disappointing. So I got a Vox box for from Influencer. If you're unfamiliar, Influencer is a way is a app where you can sign up and um, have the opportunity to sometimes be given free product. And some people get really bougie stuff like Westman Atelier. I know Paula has gotten several of the big Pat McGrath palettes. Um, so it really just depends. It's kind of based on luck and etc. But I was contacted and said I had gotten, um, I was getting Westman Atelier. So Westman Atelier is bougie AF. And I was like, oh, that's really cool. Because I, I know some people who have used it, but I haven't seen it a whole bunch. One of the things they sent was this um, serum drops. So it's supposed to be skincare and um, skincare and makeup all in one. And these were awful. Number one, they're expired. Um, and I am not the only one that said that. They have the most god-awful scent. They just smell like garbage. They literally smell like garbage. These are worth like $67. $67 or $68. They don't sit on the skin. They don't, or they sit on the skin. They don't soak into the skin. They're supposed to be skincare, like tinted serum or whatever. They're just such a disappointment. And again, like $67 or $68. I am so glad I didn't pay for this because I would have been pissed off but it was really disappointing that I was basically given an expired product and they're so expensive and I am not the only one there was and I didn't pay attention to see if it was the color like if we all got the like if we all had the same color if we all had the same batch etc but there was probably probably I don't know 10 of us in the community mentioning the scent so that's a disappointment they're going in the garbage I did keep the blush but the blush stick is <laughs> hardly anything and I would just rather stick with my one dollar shop and say blushes so that unfortunately didn't work out and that's all right and the other thing that is leaving is this this is my this was my pan that palette and I mentioned once I hit all the pans that I wanted to I was going to declutter this and it's it's going this unfortunately Profusion can be very hit or miss. I find their tin pan palettes are actually pretty good. This one just wasn't, especially this purple. It was the worst purple I've ever used in my life. So I'm not going to miss this. I'm glad I got some use out of it, but I literally only have two more Profusion, Profusion palettes in my collection, and I at one point had like 15. So I'm not sad to see it go, but I am uber glad that I was able to hit so many pans. Do I keep this for the end of the year or do I chunk it? That is the question. We'll leave it for now. <laughs> miscellaneous. I always have some miscellaneous. I finished a Johnson's Baby Shampoo. I used this as a soap cleaner. I finished another Daiso sponge cleaner. If you, this is, you can get this off Amazon. This is so flippin' good. It's so good. It's worth all the hype. It's worth all the money. Really, really good. And then I finished two of the Shop Miss A soap sponge soaps. They call it sponge soaps. I actually use these for my brushes. They're just little bars of soap and they are argon oil and I enjoy them. So that is all my miscellaneous. Okay, I have lots of hair care. So let me let me pull up all this and then we will keep going. I have been watching a ton of the voice germany <laughs> don't ask me why 
Um, I was just... It was recommended, and I've been watching, like, all of their blind editions and stuff. Auditions, and it's just so much fun. Okay, let's start with hair care. The first thing I finished was this. This is what's currently on my hair. It is definitely not rose gold, but um, this is... Oh, it's coral pink. Pardon me. Yeah, my hair didn't come out pink at all, but I mentioned that um, I watched a YouTuber and hers was a bit brighter than this, but it was still really beautiful and I wanted it. So I did it and I, I do like it. It's, um, again, wasn't as vi bright and vibrant as hers, but I still really like how it turned out. So this is, this is done. I finished a dry shampoo. This is the Batiste Dry Shampoo Luxe. I love the smell. I like Batiste. Um, I've mentioned before, but I put it on before bed. Um, that way, I um, it'll sink in. I finished, finally, ooh, <laughs> finished the Garnier Free Cheese Watermelon um, Plumping Shampoo and Plumping Conditioner. I didn't care for either of these. I am not sad to see these go. Um, I don't know if this is the same as it is in um, the UK, in Europe, etc. But the US version, no thank you. I mean, it smells delicious if you like watermelon, but ugh. Same thing goes for this. I just, I didn't care for this whatsoever. So this is a no for me, dog. And then last but not least, I finished the Brio Geo Be Gentle, Be Kind hair mask. I don't care for this either. I, and I definitely don't think it's worth the money that they charge. All right, let me pull out my body care. Can you body care in here? For body care, I finished five perfume samples. One, two, three, four, five. Yep, I finished five perfume samples. One of them is one from Tosha Taka. One of them is Dolce & Cabana. Um, the only one I liked was this one. This is the Mont Blanc Legend. I found it on Amazon. It is very, very, very expensive. Very expensive. But I think I'm going to keep an eye out for Black Friday because I love it. It's very masculine. I hate assigning gender types to items. I'm trying to get out of that habit. But I know most people still kind of think in that way. It is very much... A musky, spicy, warm, kind of manly kind of scent, but god dang, I oof, oof, I like it like that. I like it. <laughs> One thing I did not like was this. I like I mean I didn't squeeze I didn't I got everything out of this. I did not cut it open because I didn't care for it that much. This is the Tree Hut Island Island Bliss Lotion. I mentioned in my Child of the 80s update. The formula is nice. I got over the scent. Real, real quick. This is done. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I finished a sunscreen. This is the Ulta Continuous um, Mist Sunscreen. I absolutely love this sunscreen. I think it's one of the best sprayers on the market. And it has no scent, which I really can appreciate. So this is an empty. This is the Clinique Sparkle Skin, Sparkle Skin Body Exfoliator. This is another one I didn't cut up, but you can see I used almost, I think, like every drop of it. This, this did nothing. Absolutely nothing. And this is worth $30. I know I didn't buy it. I didn't pay for it because I got a huge, like, I mentioned before, like last, around last Black Friday, I got a, a, I bought a huge amount of skincare and I got a huge amount free. But, um, yeah, this was just not worth it. I would not pay $30 for this. This literally has no grit. It has no grit and I can't even think of something that it would even compare to because even yeah no there's just no grit whatever so ever so I don't know how they call this a body exfoliator because it's not <laughs> I finished another hand cream these are the EOS Shea Better hand creams I absolutely love these if you find these I think they're worth excuse me worth it I finished um two body washes I finished the Philosophy Snow Angel Body Wash. This was in Beauty AZ. I already have filmed the finale for that. And I finished the one from The Body Shop, which is lemon scented. I recently picked up this from Ulta. This is the Righteous, the Real Zing Body Sorbet. This is supposed to be lemon lime. I'm glad I bought the body butter, not the body wash. This is awful. <laughs> I, I give up. 
I give up. I have not found a body product that is lemon citrus scented that smells good. How they can do orange and it smells delicious and not do lemon, I'll never know. But I give up. I literally give up. I can't. <laughs> so, Andrea, if you want it, I can send it your way. I actually have two. So, yeah. Anyway, I didn't buy two. It's a whole old thing. You guys know how that's been. Right? Right. Okay. I finished a Bath Baby Whipped Body Scrub. I absolutely love these. I probably have 30. I need to, like, slow my roll. But these are really good. I've recommended these 100 times. And I finished a tree head scrub. So a tree head scrub is like level five exfoliation, like the highest exfoliation. And cocktails but like Bath Bevy is like a three. It's like a three. This is one that I could literally use every single day. This is one I use like every other day. And that Clinique wasn't even on the register. So <laughs> finish those. I'm trying to remember which one I filmed the update on and which one I have not. Okay, let's talk about some skincare. I finished it. Some high, some high dollar skincare. The high, the high dollar, high dollar skincare. Uh, the most expensive is this. This is the Clarins Double Serum Eye. This is seventy nine dollars. I got about four months, five months out of this though. Um, I can't get anything else out, which is a bummer. But I enjoyed this, but I don't feel like it did anything extraordinary so this is definitely not one i would repurchase i don't think this was in a project who knows um i finished the a sample of the honey halo from pharmacy i've mentioned before and i'll probably repeat it the only thing i'm going to buy from pharmacy going forward is the um honeymoon glow their bha ha aha serum because i can't handle the scent of anything else that honey scent is just nauseating so I, I i like the formula i hate the scent don't give me a starly on that daily greens or the feeling good <laughs> the next most expensive thing is this this was the estee lauder aqua uh no advanced night repair this smelled like rubber like that tire rubber remember i mentioned that from the bio not the bioderma Derma E, this kind of had the same scent. So I don't know if that meant it went off or what, but it, I didn't notice a difference. Another one that sucked was this one. This was the SkinCeuticals uh, Phyto Essence. This came from Influencer. This didn't do anything. It was greasy and it stinks. So that's a no. One that I love that I will probably keep an eye out for um, on Black Friday is this one. This was the Shiseido eye cream. Um, this little sample is worth $7. So that probably tells you how much this is worth big size, but you guys, this was gorgeous under the eye. I know there's a huge debate about whether eye creams really do anything, but I, I like an eye cream. I have really dry skin and I like to add extra moisture under my eye. And I, I'm fine. I don't mind paying for it. I don't, I don't mind any of it. So this was so good, like so good, I, so good. Um, this would make a believer out of anybody. I absolutely love this. I can't wait to hopefully get it on Black Friday, but because it was just that good. Um, one that was me. That's a, this is a Clinique. This is a gel. The one I really love. It doesn't have a lid on it because I dropped it. <laughs> One. I love their eye cream. It's so good. This one was meh. I don't and I don't even know if they sell a full size of this, but yeah. Anyway, another love is this one. This is the Good Molecules um Yerba Mate Caffeine Eye Gel. Works. I promise you it works. Absolutely love. That's that's one that I do enjoy. Um another one that I really, really love is this face mask. This is the um, First Aid Beauty Arnica Relief and Rescue Mask. I will get a full size of this. This is lovely. Um, and this is the only thing other than their shower gel <laughs> that I've enjoyed from First Aid Beauty and felt like it would be worth the money. I really, really enjoy this. Um, this is the second one I've gone through. It's absolutely beautiful. Works as a spanking cream. Works as a face mask. It's all good. Another one I really enjoyed is this. This is the Laneige um, Water Cream, Water Bank Moisture Cream. This is really, really nice, but I think I mentioned in the video, I feel like it's very 
similar to the texture of the e.l.f. Holy Hydration, and I wonder if that isn't a dupe for this. So it would be a repurchase, but I don't, I need, I don't need a moisturizer. <laughs> I don't. And what I don't think is worth the hype is this. This is the Vichy 89. I had a couple of little mini samples and I was like, I can't tell this. I can't tell it at all. So I went ahead and bought this size. This is the 30, I think this is 15 mil, 30 mil. I honestly don't remember. But um, yeah, I used the entire bottle and I don't feel like it was worth, I don't know why this gets so much hype. I mean, it's literally just, just, <laughs> it's just. Um, and last but not least is like far as like skincare kind of thing is this. This was the Soap and Glory Cloud of Dreams. I hated this too. Yeah, no. Which, and I mentioned before, it's really a shame. I think Ruth is the one that told me I need to check boots. But they used to have a speed plumping line. And I think this is supposed to be around the same kind. But it's completely different. That line was just so lovely. This line is not... <laughs> It's not, and I am about to work on the day cream, so we'll see. And then last but not least for skincare, I finished a Cetaphil oil-free makeup remover. This is okay, it's not my favorite. And I finished a Bioderma. I actually finished this Bioderma, but transferred this one into this. So this was a musical painting. Um, I really enjoy it. I bought another one. I'll probably buy a couple more. I hate that I didn't take advantage of them when they were on sale for Prime Day, because I think they were $10 each. And I think they're normally like 15, 16, 17, 18. I don't remember. But yeah, I, I really enjoy this. I use this to take off, uh, like, clean up under my eyes. I use this, like, first cleanse in the morning, like, first in the morning, like, after I wake up or I've gotten out of the shower. I don't like to wash my face with soap in the mornings if I've just literally washed it the night before. But I will take um, Bioderma on a cotton pad and uh, wash my face like that. So I this is something I get a lot of use out of and I really enjoy. Now it's time for the makeup. All right, so makeup, I finished three blush samples, two from Buxom, one from, this is the NARS Orgasm, and this is the Buxom Wonderlust. You have Dolly and Mykonos. I would literally buy both of these. These are beautiful. I know this is coming off probably a bit more orange on camera, but it's a bit more pinky coral, which is what I prefer over an orangey coral. So a three blushes, a done. finish this <laughs> this is a spoiler alert for child of the 80s but I don't care this was the Milani contour and highlighter so I finished the highlighter pretty quickly but I had the contour I dug out and I melted it into a pan and I finished it in hallelujah I'm so happy to have this done I've been working on this since the beginning of the year so this for me was a good feat a big feat not like not like feet on your feet, like feet on your body, like, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Clearly I'm punch drunk. Okay, okay. Uh, finished a setting spray. This was the Flower Seal the Deal Illuminating. It's not my favorite, but it was all right. I finished the Shop Miss A Primer Spray. I actually really like this. It's $1.88. I didn't care for the Aqua Primer, but I finished both of those. And then I finished several mascaras. I finished the NARS Climax, mm, not a fan. I finished this one from Lancome, oh, not a fan. And I finished one from Clinique, which I actually really, really love. And I have like five samples, so I am set for a while, but I really, really did enjoy, enjoy those for sure. Um, for lip products, I finished the NARS American Woman. American Woman. Stay with her man. I finished a lip liner. I finished a gloss from Shop Miss A. I finished a lip oil from LA Girl and I bought a new one. This is watermelon. This is strawberry. I actually prefer the watermelon flavor. And I finished this. This is the Maybelline Lifter Gloss. And I was like, I don't like the texture of this. I don't like the flavor of this. I honestly think this has gone off because to me, this smelled like and tastes like Hawaiian Tropic suntan oil. If you're a child of the 90s, you probably know what I'm talking about. So that's what it kind of smelled and tasted like. But people were like, it's supposed to taste like vanilla cupcakes or something. And I'm like, yeah. <laughs> this doesn't taste like no damn vanilla cupcake. Let me tell you that. So that is gone. I probably won't buy another one. We'll see. 
All right, we've got a few more things to go and then we'll be done. I finished two concealers. This was the Morphe Fluidity. I don't like this. I don't think they make it anymore. I finished the Revolution Corrector. This was okay. It's not my favorite. Um, this one of theirs is not my favorite. This potted one, I bought a second one. I like it that much. But these two are done. And then I finished two eyebrow pencils. We've got one from Maybelline I didn't care for. And we have one from BH, which was okay. I finished the Urban Decay All Nighter I um no nope. face primer. I didn't really care for that and feel like it did much of anything. I finished the House of Lashes Lash Glue. I wouldn't repurchase. Um, I finished a Laura Mercier Caviar Stick in Spackle? Strapless. <laughs> and I finished the Tart Tartist Eyeliner. Um, so yeah. That is all of the things that got finished in the month of months of um, August and September. Let me pull up. Do I save this? Do I not save this? Do I save it? Do I not? I'll just put it in the box. We'll just hold on to it. Okay, so I'm looking over to my right because that is where the that is where the things are. Okay, so let's see. Where are we starting? We are starting with Advent because nope. What? Yep. Okay, so for Advent Calendar Project Pan, that is all the samples that you saw. I finished 13 for a... You know what? I think, this, we're, I think we're getting close to my last video. So I'm going to put the glasses on. Uh, for 8262... Uh, what is this one? Beauty A to Z, I finished one for 18... Musical painting, I finished three. I finished three for $41.92. Child of the 80s, which has been my most successful project by far. I finished eight for $75.48. For I Heart the 90s, I finished two for $25.65. For Partners in Cream, which is weird for me to have empties for that, and um, I finished three for $29.99. Um, for 50 shades, wait, did I finish in the analysis? I did, right? Yeah, Alice, I finished two for $39.99. 50 shades of green, I finished um, 10 for $112.24. That's so 2000s, I finished one for $2.50, which was that uh, Profusion lip liner. Throwback 30, I finished two for $17, and then I finished 15 empties with that weren't any new projects. For a grand total of 60 products, and um, a total of $673.95. So not quite 400 for both months, which is kind of where I need to be to make it to 5,000 by the end of the year. But pretty good for someone who was really struggling the months of August and September and now into October. Um, I hope, I hope that I can make my goal by the end of the year. Um, if I don't, I don't, that's cool. But I, it, like I set the goal, I've been making really good progress until the back and the other things kind of threw things out the window. But, yeah, I'm so excited. I can't believe it's October. <laughs> like, I'm literally, I'm literally filming this on October 1st. I, I honestly cannot believe we've hit October. And, yeah, I'm just, I'm ready. Like, I'm so ready to finish off this year strong. But I've also started, like, kind of planning in my head where I'm going to, what I'm going to pan next year, etc. If you missed it, I posted a get ready with me just a couple of days ago um, called planning for painting in 2023. I do a get ready with me, do an eye look, etc. But talk about kind of my thoughts and like what I learned this painting year and how I'm going to apply those lessons to the next painting year. Basically what that's all about. But yeah, so that's it. Thank you so much for joining me today. Um, tomorrow I will have my Beauty A to Z eyeshadow edition update. You'll see my quarter three check-in at some point next week. You're also going to see um, all of the pans I've hit in quarter three. So that'll kind of wrap up the quarter three stuff. And then, yeah, we're moving into quarter four, which is kind of crazy. But I'm excited to see what happens at the end of the year. 
So that's it. Thank you so much for joining me today, guys. I really do appreciate you. If you haven't already, I hope you'll consider subscribing. <clears throat> Excuse me, as I've mentioned ad nauseum, I would like to get to a thousand subscribers by the end of the year and your support means a lot. I appreciate it. You can also follow me over on Instagram. I am at Misty Pans. I also sell Christmas cards, holiday cards, birthday cards. If you're interested, there's a link to my Etsy shop in the description box down below. I'm pretty sure that's all I need to tell you except have a good day, night, weekend, wherever you are. I love your faces and I'll see you in my next video. Bye for now.